Hey everybody, I hope you're doing good. Today I'm going to do a 12 inch swipe. As you can see over here, I've already done one on another video and it's going to dry and I'm going to embellish that with yellow flowers. So this one I wanted to do a wet on wet combination of swiping and adding some flowers or something to make it really, really pretty. So this is um, a 12 inch canvas. I've got push pins on the bottom. This is my normal butcher paper and I have a puppy tray liner that is plastic. It's listed in my Amazon link below the video. This one is 21 inches or so deep and it's 36 inches across so it's you know pretty good sized. It's kind of another option instead of a washing machine tray that goes under a washing machine. This one is a little cheaper if you don't need a, like a really large one. I think the washing machine ones are like 30 inches or so square. This one is a little bit more shallow but it's plastic and I ordered it on Amazon. So today I'm using DecoArt products and the colors that I will be using oh let's see what colors do I want to use probably yellow and white and orange magenta maybe the desert turquoise and sweet mint and the uh, ultra blue deep and some bronze and copper maybe and then leafy colors like sour apple festive green peacock teal so here are all the colors cadmium yellow orange flame true red peacock teal bright blue I may not use all of these desert turquoise ultra blue deep purple rain dioxazine purple festive green sour apple sweet mint rich espresso which is the really darky bronze color and then the copper and the deep magenta is some carousel pink mixed with quinacridone violet all of these I mix one to one ratio with Oetrol Easy Flow this is European company you can get this from OetrolUSA.com or on the Amazon link below the video that has all my products that I usually use this is exactly like Floetrol. This is just another version in case people outside of the United States want to find something they can't get Floetrol, they might can find this. Oetrol gives me free product which is so wonderful and I really love it. I love it. I love it more than Floetrol really. Then I mix my color and my Floetrol or Oetrol in a cup one to one ratio so if you put two ounces of paint two ounces of Oetrol or Floetrol. Stir it up really well. It does not require water except for the ones in the tube. The premium ones in the tube require some water. And then I do a spot-on treadmill lubricant. So I put a drop of this per ounce of paint mixture. So if you have four ounces of paint mixture in your cup, then I put four drops of treadmill lubricant or silicone into the paint stir it in really well and then I transfer it to my squeeze bottles and I love the squeeze bottles they're also in my Amazon link they are what they call icing bottles they have uh, measurements on it which I don't use but um, the cool thing about them is they're a more durable plastic so they're stronger plastic they do not leak they have a screw on lid and the opening at the bottle end is small so it's not large like regular condiment bottles like what my water bottle has it has a bigger opening see how large it is so these are much smaller so you have way more control I'm going to put my canvas down and just kind of make sure it's level this plastic tray has a little bit of a curve on the bottom just a little bit so I'm just wanting to make sure that my canvas is nice and level. So I'm thinking on this one, I want to make it a little different from that because I may add some flowers. And 
I think I'm going to still swipe with navy and I've got navy in a container here that I mixed myself and it's got dark blue, it's got deep navy and then I add a little bit of dioxazine purple and a touch of black to make it like a dark navy. But I'm not going to put a base coat down. You don't need one really when you're doing a swipe because you use so much paint when you put it on here. And I think what I'll do is I'm going to start with a good amount of the Ultra Blue Deep, which is so beautiful. And if you want kind of a random swipe, then this is the way you do it. You do it more of kind of linear up and down. And if you have a, if your thing gets stuck, you just use a toothpick. So you basically just stick that toothpick through the tip of your bottle. Sometimes, you know, it does get dried up in the tip and then that'll unplug it. And then you also want to make sure that you have some paint on the sides. It can be any of your colors, but just kind of make sure that you do have something on the sides of your canvas as well. I was thinking about using black to swipe with, but I think I'm going to do navy. It'll just feel more natural, I do believe. So I'm going to come in here with some bright blue. and some of the turquoise. And by doing it random, you'll just get more of a fluctuation of color throughout it. You can do it in stripes if you want to. This just gives a little bit more of a random pattern. I'm going to do some sweet mint, which is a pale turquoise color. got some plugs going on today. So you just poke your toothpick through, get that clog. Then you're back in business. And if you want to make sure there's some down there too, you can. Okay, so I'm going to use a little of the peacock teal, which is the darker green, but not a lot because I need to make sure my colors are nice and bright to be contrasted against that navy. A little yellow in. I'll do a touch of white. I don't know. I pulled out the the bronze and the copper. I thought, huh, that would be kind of interesting. So we'll just see what it looks like. I've never really included it in swipes that I planned on doing. Here's copper. Um, like a floral type thing or whatever. I'm, you know, I may decide I want to do something different. I don't know. So we're just playing, having fun. So that's copper. Maybe I'll put a little bit of orange just for the heck of it. Since orange is the complement of blues and I've got some blues in here, we'll just do the orange for fun. All right. I think I got enough. 
So I'm going to put down a good layer of navy. And I do want it to go over the edge of the canvas there. Make sure it's covered well. Then I take my damp paper towel and I use good paper towels. Oh, and don't drop it in the paint. <laughs> it's okay. So you make sure your paper towel, I kind of bunch it up to where I have more control at the end. I want to make sure it's like totally stretched out. Uh, I splashed a little paint on me when I shook the thing. Let me get that so I don't have paint splatters on me. So I'm going to stick it in the navy here. Let it lay down in it. And then drag. And I'm going to let it fall over the edge. That way that edge of the canvas is covered too. And I'm going to take my, you can take a heat gun, I'm going to take my torch and just do the bottom here where it's still not quite popped up all the way. But you see how quickly those cells popped up. The other thing you can do actually I might, before I do anything I'm going to add some navy down here on the bottom where it's thin. You don't want any of your canvas peeking through. You can also take it and drag it along the sides, especially if it didn't get full coverage on the sides. But I'm going to take the straw I'm more gentle in the areas that are already sealed up. If I just want to enlarge something that's already there, like in this area. So, and then what happens down here is that if there's any color under this navy, let's get it this way so you can see what I'm talking about. If there's any color down here under the navy, it will pop out. So if there's no more color, you can also just move it down with the straw as you blow. So I pretty much have coverage and um, the copper and all I might could have left that out. You know, it's okay. It's not like beautiful to me or anything. But that might change my... I had planned on maybe doing like pink and red flowers because I love pinks and purples. But with a little bit of copper and oranges, then maybe I need to, you know, keep it in that family more so. So maybe what I'll do is I'll do a little bit of red. This is where... I could try using a balloon. I've not done this on top of a swipe before, so it may be a disaster, but we're going to give it a try. So I'm going to just try to put different sections of color. I'll do a little copper. I'm not really I'm not really piling it up on top of each other like a petal pour like I normally do. So I'm kind of breaking it up just a little bit. I 
and this is coral blush. Whoops, that's coral blush, the one I dripped just now. I'm going to put a little bit of this in. It's not really very contrasting, so I don't know if it will even help. Maybe just a few drips of white, kind of separated though. And we're going to see what happens with this. I have no idea. You'll get to see it right here. I'm going to stick my finger in and take this coral out of that blue area. So I've got a balloon. It's not real big. So that's what happened. I'm going to wipe it off before I do the next one because I don't want to contaminate my colors with the blue. Interesting. Not what I expected at all. So now I'm going to take my straw. So I can kind of make them look like flowers, so that's okay then. I'll do a few more. Kind of scatter them a little bit. I don't remember how I did it, so I'm just going to do random, random sides and colors. I don't think it really matters, to be honest. Do some orange. And I'll do the coral blush next, which is kind of almost a salmony flesh color. And then the bright yellow. I did a little bit more yellow this time just to give it a little bit more oomph. And then the few little contrasting spots of white just for the heck of it. All right, so I'm just smashing it. And it basically is disappearing on me, but I'm wiping it off every time. Get a clean paper towel. I'm trying to twist it a little bit too, just to see if it'll do anything different. So I'm giving a little twist as I smash the balloon into the paint. So again, I'm just wiping the balloon off that way. And the air has gone out of it some. I can always blow up more. I'm not super impressed or anything, but it's, it is what it is. So now I'm going to do my typical little swiping bit with uh, greens just to make some leafy looking things. And I've got my palette knife that I like to use that's kind of an oval shape. So I'm going to do like a festive green, the sour apple, and yellow and see what happens. I'm going to very lightly skim the surface. Wipe my palette knife. So I just wanted to see how it turned out. You know, I could even make the shape of leaves.
I don't think it really matters. Just putting down a little bit more paint this way. So I'm making sure to wipe that paint off every time I use it because otherwise it's going to put the darker paint from underneath that's all got all the colors and it's going to go across your leaves and then it's going to contaminate your leaves and make them muddy looking. So you want that freshness of color. Just go back through this one. It didn't come out as bright. Still not. That's okay. So you can kind of bring the leaves in too. And you can also draw in what looks kind of like stems if you want to on the flowers. And some of this paint will sink because it's on top of paint, but some of it won't sink either. And you can even just, you know, kind of go through the green a little bit. Just make it almost barely visible. And then also I'm going to put some more where the leaves are. even take them up through the middle of the leaf if you want to. So the one other thing I want to do to see if it'll help any. I have my white and uh, this, this is a writer bottle. So it has a screw on lid and it has like a needle applicator. Can you see that? And then in the lid there's also a needle inside. And so when you close it you put the needle inside the needle and that keeps it from the paint getting dried up and stuck in that needle. But this does the fine detail. So I can kind of like go around my shapes if you want to. You don't have to. It just gives a little bit more definition. Plus you can also just do like some little dots in the center of your flower if you want to just to make it look like little, you know, the little center point of your imaginary flowers. These are not supposed to look real. It's supposed to be, be very abstract and non-realistic looking. I'm not going for real when I do stuff like this. I can paint real flowers, but you know, I enjoy doing this because you can't predict what's going to happen. That's the cool part about it. It's, you know, it's kind of abstract and free-flowing and you just end up with what you end up with. And I get guilty of bringing my needle through the paint, which you can't do that because then it dirties up your white paint. But you have to squeeze pretty hard to get it to come out. Okay, when that you drag it in the paint, you just got to bring it out and clean it off and keep on moving. 
but they're called writer bottles which are kind of cool because you can do writing it's easier to use something like this than to do sometimes a, a paintbrush it's easier to write with something where you can squeeze it and have a little bit more control gives it just a little bit more contemporary look I guess you would call it so I'm just kind of highlighting the stems take it down the center of the leaf if you want to so if you have lines that are kind of sinking that aren't strong enough you can just go back over it and kind of redo it add more paint so let me just make sure I get my needle back in my needle so it, you insert the needle inside it and then it's protected and it doesn't dry up and it's nice these are in my Amazon link below my video with everything else the puppy tray everything so I'm gonna bring this up to you to show you up close you can see a little bit of the copper and the bronze but not a lot and there are the flowers so it's more of a modern and contemporary look but I kinda like it I'm gonna make sure that my sides are covered always make sure your sides are covered when you're doing these especially with swipes because if you know they if they go over the edge they can be really really pretty the finished side so it's worth your while to make sure that you've got some paint on all the sides as well so if you enjoyed it please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel check out all the links below the video where it says show more on your computer or on your mobile device it's a down arrow there's Patreon, PayPal, my Amazon link with all the different products, my website, and my Facebook group. If you want to come join my Facebook group, we have a great group of people there that support each other and encourage. So thanks for watching. I hope you have a great week. Please say a prayer for me. My son who struggles with addiction is going some, through some times that are just really rough and I can't help him anymore he needs help himself and he's got to go get help himself and it's kind of heartbreaking as a mother he's 30 years old so he's not a kid and we've been doing this for 15 years so please pray for me to have the patience and the discernment to let go to back off and just let go and let him take control of his life it's got to be his choice not mine so if you are a Christian or or whatever if you would please pray for me I would greatly appreciate it thank you so much you have a great week I'm gonna head out to the mountains for the weekend and have a nice relaxing weekend with my family I'll talk to you later bye bye